This is Melissa Dykes reporting for The Daily Sheeple. I know there's a lot going on right now, what with all the fake news and the election that just won't die, but here are five dystopic movies that are starting to happen right now if you take a moment to look around. In no particular order, number one, Sleep Dealer. This little known futuristic sci-fi from 2008 features a world where people are plugging themselves literally into the matrix and water has become such a scarce commodity it's guarded by a high-tech military from aqua terrorists. The part that hit a little close to home is the enormous AI guarded wall on the US-Mexico border that's for keeping people both out and in. Considering that Donald Trump has fast-tracked the DHS's biometric entry exit program and people are already scanning their retinas at airports, and Trump has promised over and over he's going to build a wall. And it's going to be a real wall. It's going to be a high wall. It's going to be a beautiful wall. This dystopia doesn't seem all that futuristic anymore. Number two, Children of Men. This movie gives us a chilling perspective of what the world will look like in 2027, just 10 years from now. A place where the nebulous war on terror has taken over, with bombs going off all the time, no one can reproduce, and so most of the world's societies have collapsed and fallen into total ruin. The British government government has declared all immigrants as foreign invaders to be deported by military forces in a full-on martial law lockdown where no one has any civil liberties whatsoever and authoritarians rule. If you look at the way things are going now, with DHS being given sweeping new powers for Gestapo-like raids, rounding up everyone for papers please, and consider that America's government already rounded up American citizens and put them into camps during World War II, you can see how easily we'd get there within the next decade. Number three, Black Mirror. This one's actually a British television show that was redone in 2016 by Netflix, but the episode Nosedive starring Bryce Dallas Howard on the way social media could take over society is chilling enough that it deserves a spot on the list because we can already see it happening now. In the show, society is completely controlled by social media ratings. The ratings control everything from the basics of what kind of housing a person can qualify for, to whether or not someone can get on an airplane, to every social interaction both online and off, ultimately driving a woman insane because she can never attain the elite score or status everyone covets in such a society. In reality, the communist Chinese government government has already proposed what they are calling a social credit system which would give every citizen a rating based on their commercial activities, administrative affairs, criminal history, and their online behavior, though little is known about what stage the system is in development. Just like in Black Mirror, such a score will be used by the government to deny commerce such as loans and basic freedoms such as travel. In a less extreme version, it was announced last week that people will be banned from Twitter if they cuss at celebrities. What the f Number 4, 1984. Orwell's 1949 missive has turned out to be quite the little instruction manual, hasn't it? Let's see, uh, see something, say something, surveillance state tyranny where everyone is indoctrinated and everything is controlled under the watchful eyes of Big Brother. Sound familiar? Since 9-11, our total information awareness society has sprung up and sunk in to the point that people don't even realize they're being spied upon both physically and digitally practically 24-7. The majority of us have been brainwashed to believe we're free, and our government's imperialist, regime-changing, empire-building offensive wars are actually part of a benevolent foreign policy for spreading democracy. We're told that fighting the constant nebulous never-ending war on terror where our government has actually been caught arming and training the so-called enemy is peace, and we're told that being forced through the humiliation of TSA and now being forced to show ID when we get off a plane after a domestic flight is freedom, not slavery. The media is controlled and the people are being censored through insane anti-First Amendment laws and our language is being literally altered right down to the changing of the definition of words for political ends showing us that ignorance is strength. The comparisons could go on all day. And number five. Welcome to Costco. I love you. Is the fiction film turned documentary Idiocracy. Would you like another? Extra big ass fries. What you're saying is that you want us to put water on the crops. Yes. Water. Like out the toilet? I know she's bad, but all that starving bullshit. Oh my god. You're not that unstable, are you? But Brando's got what plants crave. It's got electrolytes. This should help you calm down. Just all of it.